In today's episode, we're exploring the abandoned Nevely Ski Resort. Dating back to the early days of the Borscht Belt, it opened in 1901 and appealed as a great vacation spot for the many New York City residents. Over the years, many extensions were made with the peak popularity in the 50s and 60s. However, as years went on, the region's vacation popularity began to decline, and many hotels in the area had difficulty sustaining themselves. In the early 2000s, Nevely was severely struggling to stay open. The hotel deferred many needed repairs and refurbishments, as well as failed to pay taxes. Eventually, in 2009, the hotel would close. Now join us as we venture inside the massive Nevely Resort to see what remains. Thanks to NordVPN for sponsoring this video. Get 70% off a three-year plan plus an additional month for free when you go to nordvpn.com slash proper people. Beautiful pool. You could go for a swim right now. This must have been lifeguard and locker room and bathrooms. That kind of reminds me of an air traffic control tower. It does. That is by, for sure, the older building. You think it's Property. original, the 1903 building? I don't know if original, but the Nevely Club Resort was established in 1903-ish. And that was, I think, 50s or 60s. I don't know about this one. So, you want to go in the older looking one first? Yeah, okay. sure. There's also like a central hub building that might have cool stuff in it too, like a ballroom. Yep. I actually might want to see if we can go in this lobby right now. Yeah, that looks I see cool. wide open doors. Okay. I smell the abandoned building from here. There's a car down there. Yeah. So that's, uh, let's get in here quick. Yeah, you can smell the mold from so all the way So this is where the banquet here. halls were built probably in this extension back that way. But this might have been closed a while. Because it looks pretty old in here. This is a cool lobby. Very cozy, like a lodge or something. Yeah. I'm gonna go upstairs because these rooms on the first floor look pretty small and uninteresting. It's a little sunroom. Really nice cozy little lobby though. Like you can envision it before it was abandoned. Seems like it'd be a nice place to stay. I can see all the way through the attic, through this hole in the ceiling. It smells like piss. Oh my gosh, there's still furniture in the guest rooms. I actually wasn't expecting that. Only in this one. Oh, it's just this one? Yeah. Okay. Um, I see another bed right. in this room here. This room was empty. This one looks empty. There's a bed in here, yeah. I mean, 
And some books. Abbott and Casello on cassette. And there's already more stuff in here than I expected there to be. There's a fridge in here. I wonder if these were like apartments or condos or if they were all hotel rooms. No. I mean, there's books and cassettes in that yeah. room. So like, it's that's not like a hotel a, thing. Like a condo or something. And every room is different okay. too. The old TVs in every room are cool, though. <laughs> RCA. Let's try to get into the building right over there. Yeah, that's like a complex of stuff. Yeah. Together, so that should be cool. Here's some maps from 2012. What they... They wanted to do a casino here, but the city mm. said no gambling. At a water park. That's cool. Yeah. Does it have any of the original buildings or no? No. Doesn't look like it. They want to demolish it. Unless this is the other side. I don't know. I just read that they wanted to do a casino, but the city did not want gambling. So yeah. that went out. Out the door. Big conference hall, banquet area. I like the skylight in here. Here's the main entryway. This is all skylight. A drop ceiling skylight kind of look at the mold on the ceiling here this whole place is disgusting I can't even tell if the the uh, carpet's supposed to be green or if that just moss I think it was green but there's like more green growing on top of it it's very wet in here look at this mural this is probably the nicest thing here so far looks like hieroglyphics Is that a waterfall that would come off of it? Maybe. There's somebody's W4 form from 2003. Okay, that was actually a cafe in that room. But there would have been a cool light fixture there back in the day. More ice. This is the Stardust Room. Sounds more impressive than it actually is. Yeah. It's pretty ugly. It's just like raining in this room. There's so much water coming in. There was a fire in here. I don't think so. Yeah. I can smell the smoke. Look at that looks like mold to me. If I smell smoke if you come in farther, you'll smell it. It's like the smell of smoke mixed with mildew. I don't know. It looks like fucking disgusting mold. Super gross. That's supposed to be white drop ceiling. There is definitely a fire in here. Um, the whole room is black. I think 
You think it was black? The ceiling was supposed mold? to be black, and There's the mold white is mold? white. Okay, maybe. Yeah, that might all be white mold. The ceiling's supposed to be black. White mold is the really bad kind too, isn't it? White mold, black mold, it's all bad. Go up here. This elevator's open. Def decon and exclusion area. Decontamination. Alarmed. Alarm. I don't know about that. Probably not anymore. <laughs> Should we go check there it out? There were rumors of this Whoa. place having alarms like way back in the day when people were exploring it, but I think those times are long past. This place is just completely abandoned now. Is there anything worth protecting in here? Oh my god, this is like a slip and slide yeah. with the ice. How is this not melted yet? Whoa, this is actually really slippery. Can you do the moonwalk? Oh my god. Now, if we set an alarm off, we're gonna have to come back across this. It's gonna be like Scooby Doo when you're like. <laughs> you run and go nowhere. Yeah, I don't know about that alarm. What if this is prepped for demolition? That's where they're gonna put explosives. Maybe. The pink spray paint, doesn't that mean something? Maybe. It might be for demolition. Mm -hmm. Let's check out the elevator cars. Very plain. Where's the check-in counters here? I don't know. We probably have to check in at the main building. Maybe. They might have turned these into just like smaller building lobbies. Or you don't see the check-in anymore. At one point this was probably the main lobby. Probably outside. Basement. It's coming from down there. Should we go look? Yeah, let's check it out. There's a lot of extension cords running down here also. Holy shit. Look at the wires. There's just wires everywhere. It's those big boxes back there, I think. The main power is still coming in. Things stuck everywhere in here in the basement, which is mostly load bearing, so that probably is demolition stuff. There's a bunch of baby cribs tucked in here. It's a little creepy. Yeah. What do you think they'd raise and lower on this thing? The beds? No, they had the elevator for that. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know why they wouldn't just use the elevator for everything. It's not gonna move. I'm just seeing. It's some kind of system to move. Yeah. Whatever. The rooms are all completely empty up here. We should just go to the top and see if there's something fancy up there. Like a restaurant or something. That was a tiring climb. Oh. Why does only this floor have beds left? People set it up. No, there's beds in the hole. 
It's weird. Every single floor was empty, and then the top floor has all the furniture. Yeah, that's kind of weird. I don't know why. It's like they just gave up when they got to the top floor, and they were clearing the place out. Makeshift drainage pipe out the window. This must have been the presidential suite. Yeah. Pretty big. This was most likely set up by someone who wanted to get a good photo. This kitchen, I think, might be one of the best rooms in this place. Oh, wow. Put the drain pipe running right through the middle of it. Drain pipe. Don't like that so much, but the rest of it's nice. It's like 50s right here. Hmm. But they didn't rent this room out too much, so they didn't update it. Or maybe people liked the vintage appeal of it. Yeah, or that. This is such a nice color yellow. Yeah. It's like slightly different than normal pastel yellow, you see. You'd never see a kitchen color scheme like this nowadays. No. Still stacks of plates in the cabinets. Look at this. They definitely stopped using this suite before the place closed. They put up a wooden door, like a construction door, yeah. in front of the main door. These were like sub rooms within the suite. These were the bedrooms in the suite, yeah. Oh right, there was no bed out there. They left a roll away in here. Uh, that is not good to be breathing. It's so wet. It's gross. A balcony. Quite a strong breeze up here. Not a bad view from the balcony up here. Look what we've got down there. Some youngins. These sink setups are completely different. His and hers, I guess. Yeah, but they're like a completely different design. There's a shower over there. Shower, and it has the jets on the walls. Like, in the tub here. Four or five different shower heads. into our pool.
We have a waterfall where that is. It would come down here and into the pool. It is really tacky. There was a gym in here. A few things left, not much. A yoga studio or something. Spin cycles. Let's try it out. Yeah. There's no seat or left pedal, so gotta just do it like this. Only one leg workout. Realize you could see me standing really awkwardly to film that in the mirror. <laughs> this is towards the ski lift and the ice skating rink. Yeah. This is definitely the nicest design building in the place. This is actually really cool how they took thin slats of wood and turned them into these huge thick beams. Oh, there's some skis right here. Put them on. They're probably not designed for vans. Yeah, they would like That's all it does, them. yeah. It needs a latch on the back of the shoe. Okay. It's cool in here. This is probably one of the better buildings of the place. All the ski boots are in here. And this was the office for the ice skating. Looks like it was a snack bar, or just a bar. It's a nice place. It's got a nice atmosphere. There have been multiple plans to revive the property, from a casino hotel to a large sports complex. But plans keep falling through and no progress has been made. The resort continues to decay and be vandalized over the many years of abandonment. If you're planning to stay in a hotel that isn't abandoned and connecting to their Wi-Fi network, check out the sponsor of today's video, NordVPN. NordVPN offers thousands of servers in over 60 countries with unlimited bandwidth usage, which you can use to connect to different websites as if you were in different countries. This is perfect if you're traveling internationally or just trying to evade region restrictions. Their service also avoids internet tracking with 256-bit AES encryption and a no data logging policy. 
Whenever we're traveling and connecting to public networks, we make sure we're using NordVPN. We never know if these networks are isolated properly or who's snooping, and we want to make sure that our data stays secure. Right now, you can get 70% off a three-year plan plus an additional month for free when you go to nordvpn.com properpeople or use the code properpeople.